Well, more twists and turns in the YSL RICO trial. A Fulton County Superior Court judge is still deciding whether to declare a mistrial after a witness read something he should not have while testifying last week. But today, days after that incident, one of the six defendants on trial took a plea deal. Fox Vice Tyler Finger is live at the Fulton County Courthouse with more details. This is a major development, Tyler. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. As we've been reporting, several uh, YSL co-defendants have been considering plea deals, and today one of them signed on the dotted line. How do you plead to count one, conspiracy to violate the racketeer, influence, and corrupt organizations act? Guilty. And that's Quamarvius Nichols. He took a plea deal Tuesday afternoon, nearly a year after the YSL RICO trial got underway. Nichols was indicted on seven counts, including conspiracy to violate the state's RICO Act, murder, and participation in a criminal street gang, among other charges. But his negotiated plea with prosecutors dropped all but the RICO charge. A judge sentenced him to 20 years, but he will only serve seven. The rest will be probation. While Nichols pled guilty and took responsibility for violating the state's racketeering act his attorney told the judge Nichols didn't commit any violent crimes this plea deal came just days before Nichols's 30th birthday Fulton County Superior Court Judge Paige Whitaker told Nichols to use this sentence to start anew for his three kids this is a an opportunity for you to do that and for you to put your past behind you the bad parts of it um, and continue and make your children proud of you and set a good example for them. This, um, guilty plea. And Tuesday's plea deal came days after the trial came to a standstill after a witness inadvertently read a hashtag on the stand implicating one of the defendants last week. Defense attorneys immediately asked for a mistrial, arguing jurors should not be exposed to defendants' prior criminal histories or incarcerations. So far, a ruling on that mistrial has not been announced yet. The judge is still considering that. But from our understanding, testimony is expected to pick back up tomorrow morning around 9 a.m with five defendants. We're live outside the Fulton County Courthouse this afternoon. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. All right, Tyler, thanks for the latest. Let's talk now.